today we're doing something different. Not metal detecting. I know Bill's sad, but we're doing something different today. <clears throat> you know how we find all these cool treasures? Sometimes it's hard to see them well. So we're going to be reviewing a microscope. The Eliclive 4K digital microscope. Be able to zoom in, zoom out, do all these cool things. It's got different settings. Pretty awesome. So I'll show you how it works. So these are the pieces that you're going to get in the box. You're going to get this big boy right here, right? It's going to come with this cord. Woo! You're going to have this piece, right? You're going to have the remote control. This plugs in to charge it. And this plugs in to the TV to put this on the TV. Ooh. Big screen stuff. Nice. We should try it. We should try it. That's actually pretty cool. So, like we said, it's one, two, three, four, five-ish pieces, unless you separate all the parts. This guy's going to go here. Okay. It's going to tighten on these little, oh, wait, righty, tidy, lefty, loosey. We all learned that, right? In shop class. This part makes it go kind of up and down. But you want to keep it tight, kind of tight. This adjusts it. Beep. And these are the Hollywood lights. <clears throat> so in the back, you have a couple different options here. Different outputs, as it were. The HDMI cable will go here. Your micro SD is going to go here. Your USB is here and your five volt output goes here. So this is the USB. That's what it looks like. So that little guy is gonna, okay, hold on. You gotta be smart to figure this out. There you go. Yes, success. Nice, and that connects the base to the microscope so that we can actually power the lights. It's so easy, Christine can use it. <clears throat> I know, sorry. Really? <laughs> so now we're going to turn it on and use it. I'll hold down the power button if you don't want to use the remote. Shazam. Okay, we've already got a piece set up. It's a piece of jewelry. Um, let's just say we move it around a little bit. Uh, I think gonna... You can do autofocus, which is the AF button. E Plus and minus for manual focus. Oh, never mind. We don't. And we P, don't want to do that. P one and P two is to program yes, focal points. Exactly. See, you know what you're doing. Yeah, you know I've used this for like a long time, like five minutes. Okay, so the lights. To turn on the lights, all you do is um, you do the clapper. No, you don't. No, you don't. There's a little button in the back that we didn't talk about. It's got a little slide thing. So. Just adjust it. If you want a lot of light or a little bit of light, you can point one down. Beep. See, look at that. That's nice. <clears throat> so now we're gonna look at a uh, nickel. And using the remote, we can zoom in. So again, the sensor is right here and it's gonna have a little box on the screen. So the more that you click on it, you can seem to, oh, there it is. There it is. So wherever the box is at is where it's gonna focus on. Using the microscope for the coinage is really good if they have a doubled eyes. See, like this is a single eye, double eyes. <laughs> single eye. Billy found this uh, money and he thought he was rich. Until he noticed, didn't quite look right. Unleaded status. Motion picture purpose. Yeah, I thought I had a hundred dollar bill until I saw that. <laughs> this is not a legal tender. I'm just gonna go back down to the small font, the tiny font. 
that. And then we're gonna do autofocus. Boom. Wow. It's like an eyesight test. One or two? Better or worse? A or B? Anyways. You need this at the supermarket so you can see the labels, but let's see the actual battery. That was what we were reading. Isn't that crazy how good that was? Yeah. This is my favorite. This is my favorite one. Duty Pebbles. I found it. I know you did. Poopsed. Better or worse? Oh. Nice. Instead of post, it says poopsed. <clears throat> it's funny. I knew you'd love this thing. That's why I picked it up off the beach. Look at them. Why do they look angry? What was the um, Steve Martin movie? Coneheads? <laughs> Those are the poopy version of the Coneheads. Oh my gosh, the food version? That's what the Coneheads would eat, huh? Yeah. One thing I forgot to mention that's cool about the microscope is that it comes with a micro SD card. So you can take pictures and video with the microscope of the items that you're looking at and uh, take the SD card out, micro SD card, put it in your computer if you have a reader, and download it. Nice. Yeah. All right, so we have another uh, religious pendant. Okay, so we're gonna show you, show you the back because William really likes the fact that there's such tiny text. And then you come up here and wow. It just looks super clear. Yeah. That is really cool. Yeah, again, this, this pendant can be more than like an inch. All right, Christine got to show you a bunch of different items on the microscope and she did a real good job, had a good time with it. That's the first time she's ever used it. And that just shows you how simple it is to use. Um, a couple of features, my favorite feature actually is um, not only the autofocus, which is pretty handy, but if you don't want to use these external lights, you can actually use this slide bar right here and brighten it up. It has an internal light inside the microscope. Look how easy that is to use. And these lights aren't even on. So that's pretty handy. You, got, you can see the light glow down here that's coming from the bottom of the microscope. But look how clear that is. So then I can hit that P1, or I'll hit P2 this time, lock it into that focal point. So I should be able to take another coin, slide this one out, slide this one in, and it should stay focused. And that's what the P1 and P do for you. So if you're doing coin roll hunting and you just want to keep sliding through the coins and checking dates or whatever you want to check for, um, you don't have to keep hitting the focus. It's going to be right there. And if you get that internal light set up right, you don't even need the external lights. See real quickly how easy this is just to go through them. So imagine doing a coin roll and you're just checking for errors or you want to see the dates on each one. You slide them in here, take a look at it and then you slide the next one in and so forth and so forth. So that's a really good feature and this is actually what I would probably use a microscope for the most. Um, gives you a real good look at the date. And then if you really wanna come up here and look at some of the other writing, you can slide this in really quickly through the microscope. And then obviously, what another feature I like is when you wanna zoom in, you've got two red boxes here and the smaller box continues to get smaller as you zoom in 1.6, all the way up to um, four. Not that I'd need to go to four at this particular, um, with a coin like this, but if you are, let's just say you're out here at 1.5 and you're still going through your dates because you want to be really close, the nice thing is you can actually look at that box and it'll help you line up where you're going. If you just put that date in the box, you're gonna have it on the big screen. That works out really well. This might be a little bit different because it's a nickel and it's a slightly higher, so it might not be quite in focus. So now I can leave the prior, uh, P1 or P2 and go to autofocus again because it is a little bit higher than the penny. And then if I come back to the pennies again because I switched back, I can just do the same thing. I can hit the um, autofocus. And I should, let's just take this out of focus for a second. And if I hit P2, it still remembers that setting, so I don't even have to do the autofocus. Really cool features. So again, we got the lights here, lights here. Um, if you're gonna use a remote control, sensors there, pictures and video. 
um, through the SD card. You, I pop out the SD card and I can uh, put it on my computer. So that's a really a neat feature as well. Now I want to do something a little bit different. Um, this thing has an adjuster right here and I don't know if I tighten it too much with the, actually I have a wrench. What I want to try to do, this is a little bit different. I'm going to try to break this free up a little bit. Actually, I just moved on this own, so I don't even really need to do that. So if I take this this way, and I'm going to try to get a look at a uh, diamond that is on a, a ring holder. So I can push this even further back, so it's got more of an angle. So let's see here. Let's do an autofocus. Look at the diamond. Let me go a little bit higher to so get more of the picture in there. Actually, I can actually zoom out before I do that, all the way out, line up the diamonds, hit autofocus. And what I want to show you, I've never tried doing this with the stones before, but check this out. I know the light's a little glary right there, but that is really a cool feature too. So if you have something that's not flat, you have options. And that is really a, a cool way to do things. Check that out. That's another nice thing they designed when they built this. You're not just uh, having something that's stuck straight up and down. Okay, we've got this part of a um, rosary here. We're gonna get this center piece where it says sterling, and I don't even know if it's upside down or not. Autofocus it. Yeah, so we'll turn it around. What I wanna do, and see how nice it is with the built-in lights, but if you really wanna get a close look at it, you can bring this down quite a bit. Bring it way down to about an inch and then hit autofocus again and check that out. All right, I now have a bracelet underneath the microscope and you can see the 14K really clearly. And that's with the built-in lights. If I wanted to use the external lights, you can just crank them up a little bit and add more lighting. Depends on where you want it. And that's what's so nice about these things. They're so easy to maneuver. You can get, you can get them as close as you want. Uh, as bright as you want and then you have other features too you hit the menu button and you can come down here and you can look at there's playback I don't know if I have anything on the SD card from earlier yeah I have a picture of a coin I was trying to figure out the date on so that's what's pretty cool once you if you take a picture of something you're looking at and you want to go back and look at it it's on the uh, SD card that makes it really nice now we're back live and then you can come in here and you have different image brightness, you have manual and auto. So you scroll down to autofocus, and then so it says manual, turn that off, auto, turn it to green. So you wanna make sure when you're doing the setup initially that you have it on autofocus is green. And we get out of there and I'll show you why. Now, you don't have to sit there and keep pushing the button for autofocus. Let's get these lights out of the way and I'll show you what I mean. Let's turn those down to save the battery. There you go, it's working. So you can just keep adding stuff in here and it should adjust to what you're looking at here. Let's go to a, something that's printed. See, now it's doing it automatically. And that's also pretty cool. If you're not gonna use the P1 or P2 to manually set this thing up for going through coin rolls and you're using maybe different size coins, making sure it's on auto will make it easy too because I can go from a thicker coin to a penny and it automatically changes. So that's a really neat feature. Just make sure that you have it on. Right here is the information for your SD card. It looks like I have four pictures and it's pretty much empty and I can take 3,500 pictures before it fills up battery indicator and this is a light sensor so it'll it, when I come up here and get my hand in the way you can see the light change a little bit but you can manually control that just by sliding your finger the buttons here are, are pretty much the same as the buttons on the remote control but I actually would rather use a remote control I'm not really sure for coin roll hunting if I like the autofocus on or off but that is an option you have I think that if it's focusing continuously, it will use the battery faster, as opposed to if you put it in program mode and have it at a set 
um, focal point. Anyway, shoot us a comment. Let us know what you think about it. This is a first for us. I mean, we've been using those eyepieces, and man, that's hard when you're doing coin after coin after coin to sit there and stare through a little tiny um, eyepiece. It gets tiring. Okay, this is the final thing I wanted to show you guys. This is really cool. So I've got this 74D penny in here. I have it on a chair in front of the TV. Let's say you really want some good view. Watch this. Wow. <laughs> off the light reflection here but check that out that's hooked up to the TV so you could uh, I would get a longer cable and uh, you could sit in your on your couch with your microscope and be looking at stuff relaxing and you can see I think from across the room that is a really cool feature matter of fact I could put a little table in front of the TV and do the coin roll hunting on the microscope and have the coins up on the big screen behind me. What a concept. Anyway, that is another awesome feature with this and then we'll turn down the light a little bit. And yeah, look at that. I'm pretty excited about that. The Elink Live 4K digital microscope. Yes, it'll definitely be a positive piece of equipment for us to use in the future. Yes coin roll hunting you could say we will be really focused on what we're looking at you could say that we'll be zoomed in <laughs> cool Ta -da! definitely a cool product yes okay well i hope you enjoyed the review um that was a pretty cool microscope the elic live 4k digital microscope yes I did it. It's a mouthful. Yeah. I think that the uh, microscope, the digital microscope, did a great job and I think it's perfect for um, either coin roll hunting or looking at the jewelry we find. Yeah. I think that um, being able to look at the mint marks and look at the dates on the coins and maybe checking for errors on a coin, that's a perfect tool. It really it is. is. I really like the microscope because it, a microscope. It, it's got different features. Yep, it's got a tail. <laughs> um, I like that it has the autofocus. He's oh! Fine. Yeah, I mean, open a box, pull out the couple main parts, put them together, hand tighten it, you're good to go. Just had to charge the battery for a few hours. The battery seems to last quite a while, so that's pretty cool. I like that it's got built-in lights. Um, I don't really have anything negative to say. Very well thought out, the way that they built this. Yeah. And it's very simple, easy to use. It's not complicated at all. And we'll have the info of um, of the item in in the what? What's description. It yes, in the description below. Yes.